we should only go like one person at a time. Well, we're not going to share the secret because you got a, it's a <laughs> bonus in the course, guys. That allows us to get data, right? Like. Hello, hello. Oh, where are you? Uh, I'm in uh, an office. That's your home office? Yeah, that's actually the podcast. That's my little podcast room uh, at home. Okay. Marion is back. You being on vacation destroyed me emotionally. <laughs> <laughs> like, we got to move. And then you came back and you're sick, but now you're feeling better. Almost. Oh, yeah. I'm back on track, man. It was, no, no, I'm, I'm all, uh, I'm, uh, I'm, back at it 100 percent it was a like cruel so i land um trying to remember i think it was december 18 and literally two days later i get sick um my brother was sick and then i just <laughs> it was one of those one of those things so i got a virus but a pretty bad one i usually i'm pretty i don't pay attention to flu stuff and things like that but anyway uh it's it's gone now uh i'm back on track so he's back we're crushing it so so update for people watching in where are we with the course and and what's the what's the plan for the next month yeah so we um we had some um some lessons that we learned so previously we talked about um seeing what this and how people will respond especially cold leads how we we'll respond to the 2k price point price point and if we would have broken that down into a different offer. So usually we look at things like this. All right, are we getting enough leads? Yes, so we got plenty of leads. Uh, what's the percentage of people buying? It was roughly around 2% at some point um, out of the webinar. So what we realized, cool, it was, uh, those were all mainly cold leads. So we understood that, okay, people, we're not responding to the 2K offer as well as we were hoping to. Therefore, right now, um, we have a complete brand new um, sales page. Before, it was webinar straight to the order page. It wasn't necessarily a sales page. Okay. It was more of an order page right now. We, yeah. So right now, we got an actual sales page that does almost... Um, I'm trying to see how should I break it down to be easy to, to understand. So instead of adding a sales call between the webinar and the 2K point, we're testing now a sales page to a thousand dollar price point, and we use the um, the one on one call with Jeremy, which is your YouTube uh, assistant, as an as an upsell part. So. What that's going to allow us to do is we're going to be able to see, okay, out of the same number of leads, are these people more interested in, in buying that type of offer? We want to see exactly what is the thing that actually people see more value. Is it the community plus the course material? Is it the, just the course material itself? Or is it is the one-on-one -on -one component where you can actually speak to somebody over the phone? So that's going to allow us in probably, I would say, Less than two weeks, we'll know, um, two to three weeks, I would say, we should know um, if we stick with that offer or we decide to leave the 2K and we add the uh, phone call in between as a selling point. Uh, I'm not talking about the, the call where people will get enrolled with, uh, with Jeremy. So they get, what did we talk about? They get three calls with Jeremy? What's the offer? Uh, so previously, it was built in as a, as an enrollment call. After I talked to you, you agreed to say, "Hey, let's just actually bump that up and do uh, do three calls." So okay. right now we got, yeah. So right now it's three calls for basically a thousand bucks. Got it. So so the course. So so people are gonna watch a an ad on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. They're hitting the landing page. On there, there's the webinar, and then we're selling it at one thousand. People can buy it. And after they buy it, they get hit with an upsell to say, hey, if you want three calls with my YouTube expert, it's an extra $1,000. It's a bumper. It's one of those uh, order bumper uh, offers. So it's right there. They can just check a box and add the, the three calls on oh, it. Oh, right wow. Away. So okay. It's not an, it's not a, yeah, it's not an upsell that you don't have to, you know, that's usually um, like the, the actual upsell usually doesn't convert as better as the order bump. Okay. I've never so seen an order... I've never seen an order bumper that's the same price as the, like, isn't that, I would think it's too high ticket, but. 
Okay. You're the guy. Um, so, I mean, we'll, um, we'll see exactly how people respond to it. But the, yeah. re- the reason that I think it's actually powerful, no, what, uh, it would be a higher ticket if it wouldn't be an actual one-on-one conversation. Now, in this case, it's not even just one, it's three calls. So it's a, right. it's a pretty, you know, impressive change. Like, hey, you know, you can either go with this and do it at your own pace, plus uh, enjoy the coaching calls with you, the group calls. But hey, some people need that one-on-one component. Right. And you being able to add it as a three calls, three one-on-one calls, that's huge. Cool. Okay. So that's going. We need a couple of weeks to get the data on that. Uh, yeah. Um, I think the first the first people that will respond um, to this, we have um, a broadcast on, on a ManyChat broadcast. So ManyChat, just do a quick update. All the people that sign up to the webinar, sign up to your maybe your um, website. We have a little chat bubble in there that people can still log in and um, and get the free YouTube map. Um, different ways for people to sign up for that, but we're gonna we have a sign uh, a broadcast for tonight that goes out to the entire list, and then um, we have tomorrow morning an email that will go tomorrow afternoon, roughly around noon time, that will go out to all the leads. So then we'll see how people respond right away because we still have I don't know probably altogether uh, more than two thousand leads. And are people still, I'm just logging into my ManyChat to see, are pe- people are still getting in because they're, they're hitting the. There are multiple page? ways. So they can not even just that they can sign up. So you still have um, a couple ads that are running. And if people comment, they get enrolled into ManyChat. We have a chat bubble on your website where we give them a free YouTube roadmap that they can sign up different ways to different ways to, to sign up for, for that. Okay. So like multiple ways that people, yeah, like every day I see, because I see in, in my notifications, every day people jump in and, and sign up for, for many chats. So that, that allows us to get data, right? Like maybe for a while, um, we don't necessarily broadcast the entire list, so we don't burn the bridge basically. But when we have, you know, a new training, like sometimes, and I think at this point in time, we have um, a long form almost like an hour presentation slide webinar. And then we have a shorter version of it. And then we also have four, um, four videos that are like 40 minutes long each that kind of breaks down more than what you talk in the, in the webinar itself. So when we send the broadcast to them, we don't send that as an offer. We send them as a, Hey, watch this training where Evan's uh, sharing his, you know, 2020 YouTube strategies. And then we, um, they watch that and then below they can actually see extra bonuses that he just added. Um, so we just added those four bonuses to, to the course, which is a huge addition in my, in my opinion, especially the one that you talk about the YouTube ads, because a lot of advanced people, like yeah. people that already have, let's say 10,000, maybe even a hundred thousand subs. And they grew organically, but right there you share you share a powerful strategy. So I'm really pumped for that, especially for people that already have, you know, good size channels. Yeah, those That's four my- those four new ones are pretty. The saturation one, though, I don't know if you saw. Did you did you watch through the saturation video? The sat- no, the saturation one is the one. That one I didn't, and the one with I think it's called the Google Trend Money Machine or something like that. Those two I didn't have a chance to watch them. I was going through, so the saturation secret, uh, well, we're not going to share the secret because you got a, it's a <laughs> bonus in the course, guys. Got to go with the course. But I share an example. One of the thumbnails I worked on that was, that was getting 200 views a day. This is a like four-year-old video or something. So that's not bad. Like a four-year-old video, still getting 200 views a day. This is why you need to be on YouTube because the content lives forever. Like four years later, it's still getting a couple hundred views a day. It's like two, 250. And then I started playing with a thumbnail uh, on their, this new secret path that I'm playing with. And uh, all of a sudden, so I use two buddies split test and you do one day on, one day off, one day on, one day off. And so it'd be 250 to then 350 and then back down to 225 and then 325. And so like there'd be at least a hundred bonus each time. So I said, okay, well this, this is working. So we applied it 
And then after we picked it as the winner, the next day it was getting like 400, 450. Damn. Like, I got to go and watch that tonight. You wait like two weeks later, <laughs> 3,000, 6,000 a day. Yeah, because what happens is if you have good content that then you've tweaked the thumbnail on and you improve the click through rate, YouTube serves it to way more people. Got it. So, okay. Even though it was only going up a little bit, like for my current audience, it was only going from 250 to 350. You might say, well, that's not a big deal, but that's a big improvement in the click through rate. And so now YouTube's not just serving it to hardcore people who they'll know like it. Say, huh, people are liking this. We're going to make it hit a broader audience and the video pops and blows up. Um, so that was a real time example that happened on my channel while I was making that video. So I, I was sharing screen captures of it to show what's, what's going on. And that's um, just organically, right? Like it's, there's no, yeah, yeah, yeah. All organic, hundred percent organic. Yeah. 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 That's powerful. You, yeah. Look at that one. Anyway, I'm, I was excited by that one, but, um, <laughs> yeah, so we recorded the four bonus videos. Um, so and then you also recorded, um, a, a, not a presentation, but, uh, you just shared like the extra bonuses that you added in there. So I'm pumped for right. that. Cause that's actually really powerful too. Right. I, I, so Marion, you know, I always say, Hey Marion, I have time free. Tell me, no, tell me what, what you need. What, how can I help? What do you need from me? And every now and then it gives me a project. And so he said, make a video talking about those four new bonus videos that you recorded. And uh, I recorded, I don't know how long it was like a 20 minute video or something. I think it was like uh, half an hour long. Was it? It could have been. <laughs> uh, like and that. I'm just trying to bring tons of value. Like there's a lot of free value in that video. And then I scroll up and I saw Marin's instruction said just, you know, two to three minutes. <laughs> like, Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cause that's just about a sales job. You know, I want to, I want to bring value in everything we create. Um, okay. So that's out. That's being tested. Did we do the second, we did, we did one of our own webinars together, right? Where you like asked me questions and we were going to turn that into something. Have we done yeah, that? Yeah, into, sli into slides. It's not, it's not, um, it's not recorded. It's not out there. The reason that I, I, cause for a while I actually told you, Hey, I'm going to send you the slides and we're going to need this recorded. And I don't know what I said uh, at the time. The reason that I haven't, um, went all in for that is, I realized like when people, I was convinced that uh, the hot leads, I mean, the cold leads will buy the same way that the cold leads, uh, the, the, the hot leads did. But what happened was I realized, and I mean, I kind of knew that it, it wasn't the same thing, but I just said, you know, let me, let me just try it. Cause the numbers won't lie. Like number, like I can debate, I can strategize. You can have your opinion on it. I can have my opinion on it, but at the end of the day, it's numbers. Like numbers yeah. will never lie. Yeah. So, uh, when I realized that, okay, people didn't necessarily buy when we released it as a, as, as the regular price to the call leads straight from webinar. But then when we did the, um, um, I think it was the black Friday offer straight to the, they were like kind of semi call, right? Because there were call leads coming from ads. Um, but they were signing up to the mini chat, right? So they were still getting more content from specifically from YouTube. uh, related to YouTube from you. So mm -hmm. when they, when, when I first saw that and I realized like, okay, so people do buy, but they don't buy right off a webinar. That is just one or two things. One, it's either the offer not structured specifically for this sales process, which for us was add auto webinar and then buy or two, um, it wasn't necessarily, it wasn't the sales page in between because we had it straight to the order page. So that's what we do now. We have the a full blown sales page, which I, I strongly believe that is going to perform um, the way that I, the way that I expected. Okay. And then if that doesn't work, then we'll switch it to the full slide webinar that I talked before. So that's why I didn't want to give up because then it would have been hard to say if we would have changed that right away into the slide uh, type webinar, if that would have, would have not converted at that point, it would have had more than one problem. It would have been, Oh, is it the webinar and the offer? Is it just one of it? Which what, what's the problem? So that's why I said, no, let's keep that one because it seems that people are still watching it. Um, like the, the watch time was the fact that actually made me still keep this type of presentation. And then let's just add the sales page, um, add more bonuses, 
change the structure of the offer now having leaving people the option to choose from hey i need three uh, coaching calls one-on-one -on -one coaching calls or i'm just good with uh me doing it myself so so that's I mean, what we're testing right now i just want to make sure i'm linking i guess we could do this after but just making sure that from my home page i link i have a section that says what i'm excited about and i link to the youtube course I just want to make sure we're linking to the webinar. right page. Uh, the yes. Question. So yeah, webinar, yeah, yeah. auto webinar opt in three three one three seven four three zero. Just making sure we're oh, hitting. Yeah, uh, the page. Yeah, yeah, and so then from there, people will be able to um, watch the actual. But it, okay, hold on. Actually, I, we can do that. I can share a screen. Hold on. Let me share my screen. We can show people what we're talking about. So this is my screen. You know, here's me. What I'm excited about. Built to serve my new book, and then the second thing is YouTube Bootcamp. Yep. So I click here, and is this the right page that I should be linking to? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because people will watch it, and then they'll get an email with Got the it. actual uh, order page once the okay. webinar is done. Yeah, that's the right. Okay. So that's the right. Still, thing. The, yep. still the right thing. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Good. Good. Yeah, that one doesn't change. That one doesn't okay. change. Okay. Okay. And then the second thing that we haven't really gone into yet, but but we're February we're looking at is um, the affiliates. Affiliates. Yep. Yeah, so that one, I think, uh, and I strongly believe that that one will just convert because the affiliates usually add their own bonuses to it. Um, so most likely, I, I'm not really worried about that, to be honest. I, I'm pretty sure, like, whoever, I don't know which one you're going to choose first, if it's Grant or if it's um, somebody in your, in your network of other YouTubers that you're going to allow people to. But at first, I would say, we should only go like one person at a time and just, you know, make a list of the, like the, your five ideal friends or five ideal people that, you know, the audience can actually benefit from. And then we'll just go with them, but we're never going to open up to the entire public. Like that's, that's not a good idea. So I think the next step with that is, so I talked to my agent on the last episode of this series about that. And he's saying what we need to do is have, uh, a one pager about what the thing is, uh, a link to send them. Obviously, that's going to be customized. It will track their information. So oh, I actually yeah. don't know how to do that, but I'm assuming you know how to do that. Um, the one pager will just pitch the opportunity. Uh, it doesn't have to be. It's not going to cold people. It's gonna. It's gonna be the people that yeah, we know, but cool. still like so they have something so they kind of know what it's about. Um, but then to you know, giving them a link to go to. So would we send them again to this auto webinar, but just with a custom ID at the end that tracks them? What's the page that the um, affiliates will send their people to? Mm -hmm. Or what's the page that we're going to send the affiliates to? Uh, no, what's the page the affiliates are going to send their people to? Oh, so yes, it'll go straight to the uh, straight to the webinar, but um, it'll, it'll have a unique link for each one of right. them. Okay. Yeah. And then the other thing he was suggesting was having messaging that they could send out to their audience all the time. Yeah. Whether that's an email, whether that's a text, I mean, I don't know, whatever Instagram. Yeah. Posts. We usually, it's all, it's always, um, so pretty much the, the same messaging that you are using, well, kind of, but everybody should have their own cause it, you know, grants audience, he knows what the audience wants, or, or at least the person that's emailing the list from, yeah. from his team. Uh, some other, you know, anybody knows their audience much better than you do. So you give them some templates, of course. Yeah. But then everybody needs to um, add their own, their own uh, messaging to it. But yeah, everybody, every affiliate usually has Facebook and Instagram posts, um, a series of at least four to five email follow-ups. Um, and, um, that's usually what it is. And even a swipe up, but essentially you already have, you already have, uh, we, we kind of have the assets unless you want to take it a step further. And let's say you have, let's say we make a list of the five people, right? And let's say it's, I don't know, Grant, Lewis, and a couple other. And then if you want to have your designer actually do some assets, they show both faces, both your face and grand face on the same 
um, social media ad yeah. or on the same, you know, swipe up ad or things like that, then we can do it like that too. Um, but that would be on a case by case individual. So I think it would be you reaching out to them individually and see if they have the time, if they are willing to, to promote this as an affiliate. And then if they say yes, because, you know, you never know, like maybe somebody's in the middle of their launch and then they'll say, hey, I'm, yeah, able, yeah, to yeah. Do it, I'm able to do it next month or whatever. I think it'll move fairly quickly. Uh, and somebody might be in the middle of a launch, maybe they say next month, but I think yeah. we'll be able to get a number of people who will want to do this fairly quickly. And so we need to be, uh, we need to yeah, be we'll ready have to those, go with all the we'll stuff. We have like so, a generic yeah. um, but do we have, assets. do we have a, do we have a five email sequence template that we can use? Yeah. Is that the, the one that it, you, the one that I use, like the four day course? Is, well, yeah. So for the webinar, no, we actually have even for the webinar, uh, different, um, different email templates that we use. And okay. plus on top of that also for the free course. So what's actually cool about it is they can use both. They can use both, um, uh, funnels to promote this they can use the webinar and they can also use the free course well we they're going to do basically what we tell them to do i mean they're going to have feedback and whatever but i don't want to give them too many options to say hey we could do this course or we could do the webinar they're going to say well what's working better yeah and we'll do that one yeah it's obviously the the webinar is the one that pretty much because it's the easiest way to, to it's the fastest route to buy so and that's the highest converting to. So we can do the webinar. So we need the, so we already have four to five emails that we've sent out templates for the webinar. Yes. That, that I wrote yes. that you wrote. So the webinar comes, um, I had, let me see, I think it's six, five or six. I don't remember exactly. I think it's five or six. Okay. And that's usually kind of a generic one. Now, of course, we can have more, more, but um, it's in there. You, you went in there. You probably don't remember, but you went in there and looked at each one of them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and 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 these we were sending to who? People My email sign list. Up. People who sign up for the webinar. Exactly. Yeah. But then they're gonna get the email again. No. Well, if they are on both your list and somebody else's list, then. Yeah, that's what I'm saying that every person, every affiliate usually adds a little bit of flavor in those emails. So I got it. But the people who got the people who got my emails, they signed up for the webinar and then they got the emails, right? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So you, would, no. you didn't just send them. You send them basically right. first an email, say, hey, watch this free training. And then when they sign up, only people that sign up for the webinar, they actually got the follow up. Okay. So if it's, they get the emails after they sign up for the webinar. Correct. If, if Grant is sending out emails to get people to the webinar, won't they get those emails because they signed up for the webinar? So they're going to get it a second time. If they sign up for yours, it's a different webinar. No, no, it's the same. But for example, if people are sign up, if they sign up from, uh, from your list, from your email, and then, well, it happens that the same person is on Grant's email as well. Well, yeah, they'll get the same email, but it's, there's no way to stop. Like, for example, I'm No, that's on... fine, but assume it's a different list. Assume I'm, they're not on my list. You got Grant sending out messages. That I have no idea who they are. They're entrepreneurs who love him. Awesome. They're going to go. He's going to send them, you know, these five emails over a week or whatever, whatever timing we say. They're going to go to the webinar page. They're going to sign up for the webinar. Then we're going to get their email address and, and contact information. Oh, hold on. So I got confused. You're talking about inviting people. So these, the, the email that I'm talking about is these are the emails that are getting only when they sign up. You're probably asking about the emails to sign up because for example, he will send them an email and say, Hey guys, you know, Evan just put together an awesome YouTube training. Go right. sign up here. Yes. Those are the email, oh, okay. Yeah. So those, no, those we need to write them. Those we don't, uh, those we don't have them for, for them. Okay. I thought okay. you were talking about the web, the regular webinar follow up, but no, you're asking about all right. What if you know people have no idea maybe from from uh, Grant's list what's this YouTube training about? So then, yeah. So those we need to have them done. Those we don't have them. Okay. 
the ones after they've registered for the webinar, I don't know that we need to customize them that much because now they've watched my video, my webinar, they learned about me, but it's getting them to sign up for the webinar in the first place. So, yeah, so those, those we need, yeah, those we need them, those we don't have them to, to hand to the uh, affiliates. So what's the ask? Like what's their ideal number of emails, swipe ups, whatever? What do we wanna, what do we wanna go to them with? So if it's, if it's uh, cause I'm assuming most of them are just gonna use their list of either emails or many chats uh, or, or some people also post them on, um, on their social. But ideally we're looking at four to five just to sign up top four to five to, um, to sign up for the webinar. So one would be, hey, um, Evans put together this awesome free training and then talk, you know, talks a little bit about you, how you built your um, YouTube influence to over 2 million subs in the last years. Um, then the second one would be, you know, grow your personal brand with YouTube. The third one would be um, make more passive income with YouTube. The fourth one would be, so it, it has to kind of, um, well, sync, but also attack different things because somebody, yeah. you know, somebody on Grant's email list, maybe they just didn't see your email, right? So yeah. that's Grant and, um, and Evans. But second email, if they didn't sign up for the first one, all right, maybe they want to grow their personal brand. Third one, if they didn't sign up for the personal brand, maybe they want more passive income. Fourth one, hey, you want to become a, a published author. Here's how Evans actually became a published author uh, based on his YouTube influence. So use that hook, right? And then the fifth one, let's say, um, it'll be a different, a different approach. So we'll hit kind of five different tactical hooks, right? Like one would be the connection between you and um, the affiliate. Second would be personal brand. Third, passive income. Fourth. Um, become a speaker based on your YouTube influence five, get a, a book deal because you have influence on YouTube type of thing. Right. Okay. So we attack all these different things and then we just need like a simple kind of email for each one of them. Okay. And then what about many chat or social? So for many chat would be like a 10% length from the same email. So we'll use the same messaging as we do for the email, but we need to keep it really short and conversational without uh, pushing. Like we can't write, you know, if you write a full blown <laughs> email in many chat, people don't have a chance to, to read it because it's just the behavior. Like think about it when you get a mess, when you get a message from me yeah. on messenger, like it's just a one sentence. Hey, Evan, can you record this video? Boom. That's it. So okay. that would be the, that would be the hook. Uh, hey, first name, do you want to grow your personal brand? And then if people say yes, then you send a, a little bit of a, of a longer message and explain okay. what it is and sign up for the webinar here. And then uh, same thing for, well, for social, no. For social, we can actually use the full long post, especially for Facebook. And are we the trying to gear towards copy. like the, the story swipe ups or actual posts or both? Both. Well, in a, in a swipe up situation for Instagram, for example, it's pretty much no, no text because it's, you know, uh, well, yeah. the text on the image, but there's no yeah. other copy, right? Yeah. So it'll be maybe your face, Grant's face, swipe up, grow. It's the same. Actually, you, we have a couple of really good ones of yours. The only thing in there would be just, all right, now let's use both faces on the same, on the same, uh, on the okay. same image. Yeah, so those are simple because those we have them already, super good. Um, some of them we even know like, hey, Facebook doesn't approve this. Instagram doesn't approve this. Don't use this one. Use this one because we this one was the one that got us more leads. Now let's just put an extra face on it and that's it. Okay, so how do we move that part forward? Well, now we know exactly what emails we need to write and then the um, many chat message. Okay. That, that we need. Uh, I'm sending you, I'm sending you a list of assets that I know they perform well. So you can just maybe send it to your designer and say, Hey, these five people will be our next affiliates. Yeah. Let's make some, let's make some, um, some, uh, new images 
with both of our faces on it. Mm -hmm. And then third, once I know maybe the first two or three, well, we can actually go into building the affiliate assets, um, the unique links for let's say two or three people. Um, and then I would say we wouldn't need more than more than 10 days to, um, to have the first one ready. Okay. The first set, the first set of links uh, and assets ready for, for the first affiliate. Yeah, I would say 10 okay. days, something like that. Okay, but it also requires my team, right? Like we have to yeah, create two... the images and all that stuff, right? Okay, yeah. Exactly, yeah. So let's say two weeks, 10 to two weeks, 10 days to two weeks, roughly. With all, okay. you know, the back and forth, let's say they come back and say, hey, maybe we need to edit this, this and that. Uh, okay. So I would say two weeks top. So if you have ideas or samples or like, hey, make it like yeah, this. Yeah, I got plenty of it. Yeah, I got plenty of it. Okay, things. okay. Okay, then yeah, we could start making it. And then again, if we're just swapping in faces, and again, the emails we send will be just templates. They'll customize it most likely, but they have to have something to customize. So it's not just, hey, go yeah, look at this course. It'll help you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. We, we give them the templates. You want, like, we want to make it as easy and as fast as possible for the person. Because at the end of the day, yeah. yes, they make their cut, but it's like, you know, you have the more you have the most uh, reward after this. Like, yeah, they make their cut. They make you know they make if they if you make sales, they make commissions, right? Yeah. But at the end of the day, we want to make it as simple and as fast as um, way possible for them to promote it, so they don't have to spend time uh, to to do this. Like okay. sometimes, uh, like believe it or not, sometimes we may even need to sign up for their own links and just give them the actual link like i had a customer uh last month or a month and a half ago she had to sign up so she had about four, she had an affiliate summit 30 speakers out of 30 only 10 actually sign up so she had to go and sign up for some speakers affiliate members and then actually send them their unique webinar link so for example in order for an affiliate to have access to those links they have to physically go in there, put the name, email address, their PayPal or however they want to get paid. Yeah. Um, and then once they sign up, they get access to their unique links. You know, some people will say, you know, yes, I do it, but you know, time, life gets in the way, whatever. So sometimes we just have to do that and that's okay. That's okay. part of the game. Okay. All right. Exciting. But yeah, that's, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not worried about that because that's really, I'm, I'm 100% sure that <laughs> people that will promote it, they'll add their own bonus to it and people will have more incentives to buy it. So yeah, that's, okay. that would be super, super cool to see. Awesome. Okay, well, we got some work to do. Anything else? 100%. No, well, that's pretty much what it is. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll stay in touch. And then next time we'll have some, um, we'll definitely have some, some numbers ready for people, especially from the new offer and also from affiliate next time. So excited to see what's up. All right. Looking forward to it. Thank you for the love, Marion. 100% man. Thank you. Talk for to you me. soon. Okay. Talk soon. Cheers.